previously on Bridalplasty. The fate of their happiness lies in your hands. I think it's best to give it to Allison. It feels amazing to be the top ride because you're going to get your surgery, but at the same time, you're safe for two eliminations. She is going to look so great in her wedding dress with virtually no scars. Whoa, that's good. Let's close this. You know I love you more than anything, but you're, I mean, you're making us feel like Kirsten, if you want to say something to me, then say it to my face. I'm not saying anything to your face because I don't want to. I want to vent to my friend, that's all. I really have to apologize because I was really under a different impression. Because everything I've heard about you has been from other people. I think it's like one person in particular, though, that's like trying to Alexandra. This girl who said she was my friend made me look like such an idiot. Now we're aiming at you. I will join forces with you, whatever it takes. Those girls, they act like they're your friend, but trust me, I know the deal. Okay. Alexandra, as a manipulator, you would have realized today that you are being manipulated by everyone in the house. Tonight, you are the biggest loser. I definitely don't want to be in a house full of fake bitches, and that's exactly what they are. And in the end, we'll see who the real manipulator is because it really is Janessa. SVP ceremony, I got the final vote. Okay, you need to explain, girl, <laughs> that you didn't understand. I really want to be here. I want to win this thing. I want this wedding. So did you think like we were turning it all on you? Yeah. Oh my oh, god, god. I really you would think I would do that too. Oh no, but I, at the time, like when you're sitting there and I'm like. It feels weird for me to not vote for Kristen because like that's my buddy, you know? But I put a lot of trust into Janessa though. Oh, right. You're sneaky. <laughs> Oh my god, we just stayed up until 3 in the morning, kind of plotting. Oh, well, I was kind of missing, so I guess we just kind of forgot. The scary thing is, now more than ever, I know that Janessa is controlling all the votes in the house. And that has to stop. No, I thought you were acting. I was like, at first I was like, wow, she's doing a really good job. <laughs> it really doesn't matter that Janessa sat at my table. As long as Janessa's in the bottom, we have a chance of getting her out. Like, oh, no. I'm a little surprised at how easy it is to control the house. I can't believe that they're so naive. <laughs> Move out here. That's, what you're That's not, not off the table. Oh, good. You're moving to New York if you move anywhere. <laughs> you know what, Janessa? I found her first. No, 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 you didn't. <laughs> we were in the same car together. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel torn. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting close to Nettie. She's like a little sister to me now, and she's so energetic and bubbly, and I love having her around. She always makes me laugh. Ha ha, goodbye, yellow. Ha ha ha, goodbye, Jaundice. Oh, oh, oh. Allison, Hi. how are you? You feel all right? Oh. I know. Let's have a look, yeah? This is going to be the first time that I see my arms. I'm so excited. OK. Oh, my god. Yeah. Oh, my god. Huh? It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be able to buy tank tops and not feel horrible about the way my arms look. Oh my god. Can you see? Yes. <laughs> how much this is flat? Yes. I mean, look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> yeah. This is an absolute dream come true for me. I don't think I've ever seen myself with thin arms, ever. This is going to be a fraction of this. When your swelling comes down, it's going to look like this. Maybe the thinnest my arms have ever been were in grade school, and I'd have to look at pictures to remember that. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm so excited because I'm just really looking forward to see finally what my nose looks like. You look great. Oh my god, you look so <laughs> oh different. <gasps> Here you go. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is
is so crazy. You fixed me. I did, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. It's unreal. Like, I never even imagined this would ever happen. And it, it happened. Like, it's, it's fixed. I'm besides myself. I'm so happy. The bad news is uh, you need to wear tape for at least a week, like this hideous tape. Okay. Not this. It's now. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, you fantastic. So You're welcome. You really are. Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> Do I love this? Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Oh my god. Girls! Oh my god, the okay, I'm really gonna oh I'm really gonna need some help here. Oh no, oh Allison, god. don't help her. We run downstairs and I notice that Nettie's holding a huge arrangement of flowers. Oh That's my gosh. Way. They're real. I can't wait to see what this is about. Hey ladies, enjoy the fragrant smell of these fabulous flowers. <laughs> I'll see you soon at the showroom of LA's top celebrity flower designer. <gasps> Obviously now our challenge clearly has to do with flowers and I need to win this challenge. There, there's no way that I can be in the bottom three times in a row. That's just impossible. Ugh, I'm fighting for it. It just, it, I can't, no, I can't be in the bottom again. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go get ready. <laughs> flowers. take a seat. So I walk into LA Premiere and I see all these beautiful flowers everywhere and it's overwhelmingly gorgeous. It's, it's wonderful. Welcome to the famous LA Premiere. I'd like to introduce you to a good friend of mine. This is shop owner and designer Kevin Lee. Hello. Whoa. Hi lady. Hi. Oh, you look so fabulous. Hi. But especially you. My God, look at you. I look like a chipmunk. This is fabulous. I love it. Fun? Yeah, you have a really fun day today. Oh, Kevin Lee. He left nothing to the imagination in those pants. You cannot help staring at if it hangs to the left or it hangs to the right because it's just in full view for all to see. <gasps> oh. That's fabulous. Well, ladies, Kevin is one of the most sought after celebrity floral designers. He's done so many A list celebrities from Christina Aguilera. Oh, my oh. God. Juliana Rancic. Oh. And Kendra nice. Wilkinson. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and ladies, we are here to figure out your wedding centerpieces and bouquets. Somebody who does Christina Aguilera's wedding can do Allison's wedding any day. <laughs> also, we made up quite a few different, you know, bouquets you'd enjoy. So let me show it to you. All right? I like that, yeah. That, that's, that's my yes, that's, that's, that's like, that's And whose was this? Jennifer Nassens, Friday bouquet. Oh my God. Look at this a gorgeous bouquet as well. Jewels, this is incredible. So fabulous. So like you can have a long bouquet that like uh, orchids are dripping down. Or like uh, you can have just all the flowers just solid like this. So don't limit yourself to be only one kind of flower. Can be all kinds of flowers, but with a style. Kevin, do you find it's more in trend right now to have higher flower arrangements or kind of a low on the table? Actually, I like the combination of a high and low. So when you walk in, you create so much drama. Yeah. If you love drama, <laughs> here I come. <laughs> okay, I'm here. It's really great getting advice from a celebrity florist. Not to mention he's so enthusiastic about it. I have some special gifts for you girls, okay? Let's see, who fits better for this bouquet? Looks like you. These are all gonna go in your bridal closets. This more like you. Cute. Right. Lisa, that is oh. you. That is <laughs> she gorgeous. Loves your kids, uh, perfect. I love my mini bouquet. It's such a great idea, and he did such a wonderful job putting them together. And it's definitely gonna be motivation to win. Kevin has been generous enough to give the winner of Bridal Plasti all their wedding flowers for free. Well, you guys can thank Kevin. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. And get your stuff together, and then I will meet you back at the bridal tent for your Bridal Plasti Challenge. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. Bye. 
You know, being able to add my bouquet in the closet, it's like a dream come true. But I need to be focusing on just winning and, and doing what I got to do. Brutus needs to become olive oil. I mean, she is a host of E! News. She's had her own reality show. She interviews celebrities on the red carpet. What's up, everybody? I'm Juliana Rancic here in Hollywood. I am fantastic, Ryan. I got to be honest. Can you feel the energy on this red carpet right now? Okay, I'm going to try to milk as many wardrobe changes as possible. It's pretty amazing to see her in person. It is now time for your next bridal plastic challenge. Well, you all remember Kevin Lee from the shop earlier today. Hi. Hi. I have a new friend I'd like to introduce you to. From E! News and her own show, Juliana and Bill. Oh my god, love Juliana Rancic. Oh I'm like starstruck. I'm like, oh my god, Juliana Rancic. I'm so excited. Hi, guys. Hi. This is really exciting. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, today at Kevin's shop, you found out that it's obvious you need to have a clear vision of what you want for your perfect wedding. So we're going to test your ability to turn your vision into a reality. You will be making your bridal bouquets. You will have 30 minutes to design and construct your perfect bouquet. You can use anything you see in this shop right here today. When I call time, you must place your bouquet in the vase next to your station. Kevin will be judging your bouquets from a scale of zero to 10. Zero being terrible and 10 being perfect. He'll be judging you on appearance, personal style, and lastly, durability. Also, Allison, you can just sit tight and watch all the fun. The bride with the highest individual score will become our top bride. The two brides with the lowest score will become our bottom brides. And you heard me correct, we will have two bottom brides this week. Your 30 minutes starts now. Go for it. There is no way in hell I'm letting Janessa win this challenge. It's up to me to take her ass down. I will throw a bitch fit if Janessa wins. Coming up, you have 10 more minutes. Are you kidding? I've never in my life even dreamt of putting together a bouquet, so I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, ladies, you're gonna present your wedding bouquet. It looks so disaster. Look at this, dead flowers. Oh. Your 30 minutes starts now. Go for it. So today's challenge is to make our own bridal bouquet. We only have 30 minutes to do it, and the highest score becomes top bride. Yeah, I know instantly. I want my bouquet to be big. Yes. I want it full. So far, so good. I want it sparkly, and I want some feathers incorporated in it. What in here is everybody doing a white bouquet? Oh yeah, there you go, Dominique. Okay, should I just fill in all in here? Yeah, just fill it in. Okay. Fill it, make it as full as you can, I think. So I go straight for the, the purple hydrangeas and try to grab as many sparkly, blingy things I can get my hands on. Oh my god, yours looks beautiful. It'll not only give it personality, but it'll make it what Kevin wants to see. I don't know, that might be okay. I do like that. I thought like maybe orange flowers would look pretty with white flowers, so I grab the orange flowers and I put one in and I'm like, oh, that looks pretty. I need more bling. Ladies, you have 10 more minutes. Are you kidding? I have never in my life even dreamt of putting together a bouquet, so I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm definitely gonna try my best because I will not be bottom bride again. Damn it. I wonder what this looks stupid paint like. I'm putting my bouquet together and Lisa Marie just will not shut the hell up. I don't know about this one. How are you gonna stay in there? She has no idea what the hell she's doing. She can't even figure out how to tie a damn bouquet together. Really? You start cutting it from here. Yeah, you cut there and then you glue, you glue, you glue, you glue. Incompetence. You need it to be full. So grab a color. We have a bunch of different colors there and then on the other side, there's white ones. I would go with white. Looking around, I'm overwhelmed. I don't even know which flowers I particularly want. Oh, it's looking cheesy. 
Like these, like... No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh. Not those. No, those are horrible. Oh, it's not looking good. Think fabulosity. Mm -hmm. Better hurry. There's only five minutes left. I'm not going to time to wrap mine. Mm. This is going to be a toughie because everyone's look really good. I'm looking around to see what the other girls are doing and kind of judging their bouquets to see if I think mine's going to shape up to theirs or not. I just really don't think this is Lisa Marie's thing. Nettie is totally clueless. Dominique's bouquet just looks like she's skinned a Smurf. But Kristen is definitely a competitive threat. Three, two, one. Bouquets in the vases, glue guns down. OK, ladies, you're going to walk individually, one by one, down the white carpet and present your wedding bouquet to Kevin and Juliana. We are going to start with Nettie. Walking on is about to be judged. I know how much is on the line. Ready? Mm -hmm. You think you are happy with this? I love it. So I really hope that my bouquet scores well. Hmm. What do you think, Juliana? It's too many flowers working together, and then with the bling on it, and then the feathers. It's a little bit like a hot mess. It's there's no cleanness to it, just too much on everything to me. I give you five. You put together a freaking bouquet, Juliana. See how it comes out. Should I like to give you a five? Ugh, my life. Cheyenne, you are next. Wow, look at this. Look at the shape. It's so fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. The shape Not is very pretty. I'm very picky with the flowers. Gorgeous roses, just daisies. Make it a little like a childish. It's pretty, and I love the shape of it. Here I go. I would give you a seven. Thank you. OK, Dominique, you are next. Ta-da. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Kevin? It's a little too big for a bridal bouquet. You know, that's how I feel. What do you think? If I can be honest, it, it screams Dolly Parton to me. It's a little country. When I think Dolly Parton, I think huge boobs. I really didn't see any boobs in Dominique's bouquet. This orc is coming down, make it just like a little, you know, chipping it. I'll give you six. I'll take it. All Thank right. you. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Lisa Marie, you are next. I'm looking down at my bouquet, and I'm realizing, like, oh, no, I could definitely do way better. And I'm like, be easy on me. Be easy on me. <laughs> Let me check it out. Oh. Looks so disaster. Look at these dead flowers. Oh. They died while they waited. They oh. died while they were sitting on your Look table? Look at this. Oh, my god. Oh, god. <laughs> oh. Kevin. This is hideous. I'm frustrated that Lisa Marie can't really just dive into one of these challenges and really, really try and give it her all. I mean, was she really happy with that bouquet? There's no way. You know, hideous. So here it go. Oh my god. I'm screwed. So screwed. <laughs> I give you a two. How about that? A two out of a ten? I'm thinking... Kristen, it's your turn. It's my turn to be judged by Kevin and Juliana, and I really want to win another surgery. If I was top bride again, I really would have to get either my tummy or my thighs lipoed. I want to get back to the size I used to be. This. Oh. Hmm. The feathers are too much, and they're they're not in the right place. You know, <laughs> they're kind of coming out like hands at me. <laughs> uh, uh. They were well, like feather much hands. Much better without it. Yeah, they did kind of look like hands coming off the side of it. But other than that, the shape wise, it's a glamorous. What do you think of the sides? It's a little big. But for her, she just had a new boob job. Oh. And it fits perfectly, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, yeah. they look amazing. Well, I'm glad my bouquet sucks, but my boobs are nice. Juliana, it's up to you. I don't know if you're going to be I'm happy out or of not. This. We're going to have to give you an eight. 
Wow, Juliana! Now I'm in the lead. I'm just hoping that something goes terribly wrong with Janessa's bouquet so that she doesn't get top bride. Janessa, you are next. I'm feeling pretty confident that I am not going to be one of these bottom two. I would love to be top bride because I really want to get my nose done, and plus I'm safe for two eliminations. Oh my god. Coming up, go pack those bags because you are leaving immediately. Bye. Good luck. I'm going to be really careful, and I'm going to do an amazing job. How do you feel if you go home without any like, plastic surgery? I feel like I keep bailing out Lisa Marie, and all she does is let me down. Janessa, you are next. As Janessa's walking down the aisle, I am just hoping and praying that I can hold off Janessa and be top bride. Oh my god. Now I just need her to have less than eight points. I have to say, of all of the bouquets, I would choose this one for my wedding. Thank you, You did Julia. a really nice job with it. You used feathers, but not too many feathers. Be honest with you, these flowers are just perfect. How about nine? Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Janessa, you are our top bride. Yeah. <laughs> I'm finally going to be getting my nose done. You have an opportunity now to pick one of the plastic surgeries off your wish list. You will be safe not just this week, but next week as well. This sucks. I really thought I had another chance to be top bride. Now my biggest rival in the house gets to be safe for the next two eliminations. Go pack those bags, because you are leaving immediately. Bye. 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 At least she doesn't get to vote at the next RSVP ceremony. Lisa Marie, Nettie, unfortunately, you two are our bottom brides, and you're now both at risk of being sent home. There's only so many times that my alliance can bail out Lisa Marie. And you know, at one point, I'm going to give up on her. Because if she can't try and she can't do it, then why am I keeping her here? It's really just affecting everybody else. I will see you all at the RSVP ceremony tomorrow night. I'm in the bottom again. Great. Story of my life. Are you guys OK? Mm, can't catch a break, dude. <laughs> Of course, I'm disappointed that I'm in the bottom again for the third time. But if you like me by now, you like me. If you don't, well, then go screw yourself. I can sit here and cry for a whole day, or I can sit here and enjoy the rest of my time with you guys, so. Oh. There we go. Are you good? I'm good. I feel better. Trying. No, I know. It's just disturbing when you're trying to get better and it just won't work the way you want it to. I'm so numb to the whole thing. This time people are like a little more quiet. Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know. I'm feeling mentally and physically exhausted. This is like emotional torment. If you're questioning if you have my vote, you know I have your back. I wouldn't be sitting here with this surgery if it wasn't for you guys. It's so nice to hear that Allison has my back because at least now I know I have one vote and there's hope for me to stay. I mean, it's not over till it's over, you know? Mm -hmm. At least I'm not alone. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Very excited. Good. So am I, actually. So we're going to do your nose today, right? Mm -hmm. Ever since I can remember when I was a child, I just always remember like looking in the mirror. And any time it turned to the side, that was all I could see. So I just feel like it's very long. Okay. And I'd like to take that back. I want to make sure that my wedding picture, since my wedding's coming up, yeah. uh, I don't have the same problem. My fiance is going to love that I'm getting a new nose, because if it's going to make me look better, of course it's going to make him look better. I'm going to be really careful, and I'm going to do an amazing job, OK? okay. Sounds right, great. Good. Do you know who you're going to I love Lisa Marie, but then I feel guilty for not voting for Nettie. That's who I'm voting for. Nettie? Mm -hmm. I always have to watch what I say. I'm really she's offended. I need to feel bad because I know it's like a confidence thing. I'm getting like a little like, come on, just like 
roll with punches sometimes, you know? Well, and there's people you connect with more than others, and I guess that has a majority to do with it, too. I, I feel bad because last time I was in the battle, at least somebody, like, voted for me. But, I mean, I feel for Nettie, too. I do. Is that what you're doing with Nettie? I don't know. I'm, kind of, I'm torn. Oh my God, Dominique's gonna vote for Nettie. This is amazing, because losing Lisa Marie would totally weaken their alliance. I feel like I've connected with Nettie, but competition-wise, Nettie obviously scored higher. You know, I am feeling torn between Nettie and Lisa Marie because I'm frustrated that Lisa Marie can't really just dive into one of these challenges and really, really try and give it her all. Ugh. It looks so disaster. Look at this, it's dead flowers. I always thought, like, mm, I think. Mm. It sucks. It's only gonna get worse from here. Coming up. Like, how will you feel if you go home without any, like, plastic surgery? I don't want to be hard on Lisa Marie, but I'm just really trying to figure out if she really wants this. Like, I just want to make sure you're gonna be okay if you, like, go home, you know what I mean? <gasps> and later. Oh, is she here? She here? Oh, my baby! Come on, try to side. Try to side. Ow! Ah! <laughs> A couple of big deep breaths remain. All the way in, all the way out. I'm really excited going into surgery. Like, I've wanted this for the last 28 years, or as long as I can remember, and this is pretty amazing. From here to here, it's just too long. So let's go ahead and open up the nose. Scalpel, first thing we'll do is go inside her nose and take a piece of her septum. Her nose is not that bad. It just needs very subtle refinements. So I'm gonna use that in the tip to stabilize it. I'm gonna refine the tip with some sutures, and now we'll sew that into the tip and form the structure of the tip around this. This nose is a lot less projecting and much more attractive than this nose. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. That is beautiful, look at that. The vitals are good. Let's wake her up and uh, wheel her to recovery. Hi, Janessa. Hey, guys. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm really excited about this. Good. Yeah, I made a lot of little changes. Overall, it had a very big impact. It's gonna look really great. It went very smoothly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're really welcome. It's obvious that you're upset. Well, of course. I just want to make sure you're going to be okay if you, like, go home. You know what I mean? You have a feeling I will? No. <laughs> you're, like, first no, thing. No, it's not like that. It's just I want to get your perspective on it. I don't want to be hard on Lisa Marie, but I'm just really trying to figure out if she really wants this. It's obvious she's not fighting for it, and I really need her to tell me that, yes, I can do this, and yes, I want this dream wedding. Scary either which way you look at it. It's like, <gasps> mm -hmm. like how would you feel if you go home without any like plastic surgery? You don't care. I'm no, no. It's not to say that I don't care. I mean, I'm so happy to see all of you guys getting it done, and it'd be nice so that if one of us, you know, each and every one of us got something done. Mm -hmm. How cool! I don't believe. At this point, Lisa Marie deserves to stay over Nettie. I feel like I keep bailing out Lisa Marie, and all she does is let me down. It's only gonna be one winner. No, I know. I know. It seems like Dominique is preparing me mentally to go home. I don't think she's gonna vote for me, so I gotta do something about it. I gotta get the ball rolling. Coming up. So did I miss anything while I was gone? It's been very quiet. You lied. I didn't recover. You can tell me. And later, I have to make a decision between Lisa Marie, who's my alliance, and Nettie. I don't know what I'm going to do. How are you 
doing? Well, I'm feeling really good getting back to the house. I know I need to heal and stuff, but there's still competition going on. I can't wait to see what's been happening while I've been gone. <gasps> oh, is she here? Oh, my baby. Oh, she looks oh, hey. wonderful. She doesn't even look swollen. I'm so happy because Janessa's back, and she looks fantastic. I saw what I looked like, and I looked so much worse than Janessa. Hold on, turn to the side, turn to the side. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look, it's like short. Really it. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. We love Bye. you. Bye. Janessa is like superwoman when she comes home. She didn't even come in the wheelchair. I think she just walked through the door. Like, wow, you just really had surgery. <laughs> so did I miss anything while I was gone? It's been very quiet. Really? What are you voting for? I have no idea. I'm you lying. I'm in recovery, you can tell me. It's a little lonely being in the recovery room because I'm used to kind of having the pulse on what's going on in the house. I'd probably be voting for Lisa Marie. That's what I figured. But I think that... I really want Lisa Marie to stay. Mm-hmm. But Eddie's very sweet also. Mm-hmm. Do you think Kristen will vote for Lisa Marie? She's probably voting for Nettie. That was what I was a little confused on. I think that it would end up being a tie. There's two girls in the bottom and four people voting. So in the event of a tie, I'll have the deciding vote, and I'll decide who goes home. Like if I did another challenge, and you have the bottom again, like no, 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 not even like I didn't win like top ride, but I just like I was just safe. like I made it right in the middle. I feel like I had won like the, the whole, whole thing. thing. I'm like, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. Screw the top, I don't care. I just want to be safe. I, I just want to say it's safe, my fan. <laughs> Nettie and Lisa Marie have been in the bottom a few times, but Nettie's being a really good sport about it, and she's being very upbeat and happy. Put your feet up, so you can... I'm always like, I'm okay, right in the middle. You know, and I get so excited for everybody else who has had something done. I'd love to see you just be like, I wanted that. You know, I wanted to be top right. What's damn your it. number one thing? <laughs> My face. I'm looking around, I'm looking at all these girls' faces, and I'm just thinking, like, maybe if I just remind them about what my story is about, will keep me here. I had to deal with, like, acne as a very, very young person. Broke out my fifth and sixth grade, and it was very hard for me because I was the only one in, like, school that... Mm -hmm. It's very embarrassing for me to say. I remember getting teased, like, a lot in school to the point where I'd be jumped, like, every day for two years. It was awful. They ever hit you? Yeah, and I never told my parents. Did you ever go to, like, counseling for that? Mm -mm. After listening to the story, I feel bad for her, and I really need to talk to Janessa because I have no idea what I'm going to do tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're back. Oh, Fellow you're noser. Back. I'm glad to be back. How are you? Good. She's doing better. really good already. I know, right? How jealous am I? I'm just saying. <laughs> so. So we do talk. Yes. You're you know, it's kind of on the fence. So daddy stays about. I have to make a decision between Lisa Marie, who's my lions, and Nettie. And, you know, I just really kind of feel guilty for going against Janessa. I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, what if it's a tie? You don't ask me to vote. If there's a tie tonight at the RSPP ceremony, I think Janessa would vote for Lisa Marie. Do you think you're gonna be able to go? Okay, maybe I could go. <laughs> I think I missed it. I know. I think Kristen and Cheyenne will be voting for Nettie. Probably 99.9% .9 positive that Allison's gonna be voting for Lisa Marie. I think it'll be hard with this one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna vote for Lisa Marie. I still don't wanna throw that out there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not 100% confident. As you can see, there's the RSVP box. So that means you will cast your vote 
for the bride you would most like to see stay. Now I need the two bottom brides to come with me. Nettie, Lisa Marie. Hi guys. Hi. Being in the bottom for the third time in a row. It's like I can't catch a break, but as of right now, I'm glad that Janessa isn't voting because like hands down, Janessa would pick Lisa Marie over myself to stay. I'm definitely feeling nervous about going into this RSVP ceremony because I really have no clue how the turnout will be. My fate is in the hands of God. Tonight really is a difficult decision and I'm not sure who to go for. I really like them both and I don't want to see either one of them leave. Point, the decisions have already been made. So I'm just hoping that Dominique voted for Nettie. Because if I'm ever in the bottom with Janessa, I know that Lisa Marie will vote for her. Coming up, your energy is just incredible. You're just such a beautiful person. I really don't believe that you have the self-confidence to do this. Dominique, what part of Alliance do you not understand? Going into this RSVP ceremony, I'm a little anxious. At this point, it's not who do you most want to see go, it's who do you want to stay. And that's what it should be about, who deserves this wedding. I am more worthy of this wedding than Lisa Marie. I'm passionate about staying. And I think by staying here, it'll just help me progress as a person and ultimately remove any inner scars and outer scars and have that beautiful dream wedding. So I'm just hoping that Dominique voted for Nettie. Because if she doesn't, Janessa will be in complete control of the vote. And that would suck. If Allison and Dominique vote like I expect them to, then my plan will have worked out perfectly. Ladies, Nettie, Lisa Marie, whether you stay or go, in the hands of your fellow brides. Our first bride, Allison. Please step forward and reveal your RSVP. I love both of you dearly. So I will make my decision. Lisa Marie, help to vote for me to get my surgery. I do not forget. Next we have Cheyenne. Hello, ladies. I made the decision just going by who I thought put the most effort into being here. It's a huge relief. I'm feeling great that we're neck and neck, we're 50-50, things could go any which way at this point, and I'm just really glad that Shai had my back. Kristen, please step forward and reveal your RSVP. Nettie, <laughs> what I admire about you most is that you take a negative situation and you laugh at it, and I love that. Lisa Marie, <laughs> this decision tonight, I don't even want to cry over because I feel like I based it off of this person who really, really just fights and I can't, it's crushing. It is crushing for me to make this decision. I don't want this person that I'm not sitting with to take it personally. It's really, really hard. But I had to go based off of, if I went home against this person, would I be upset because I really worked at it? Yeah, I would. So. There was never any doubt in my mind who I was picking. Lisa Marie just doesn't deserve to be here. She's only here because Janessa has kept her here to have her vote. It's time for their alliance to die. And finally, Dominique, please step forward and reveal which bride you would most like to see stay. I have both Kristen and Shai at my table, and Lisa Marie only has Allison at hers. If Dom sits at my table, then I'm safe. 
On the other hand, if Dom sits with Lisa Marie, then it's a tie. Trot Pride will be casting a vote. At this point, I'm really nervous. Nettie, I'm gonna start with you. Your energy is just incredible. You're just such a beautiful person. Lisa Marie, hey. I root for you and, and I, I want you to do well, but I really don't believe that you feel like you A, deserve it, or B, want it bad enough like the rest of us. I don't. Why are you here if you can't fight? I really don't believe that you have the self-confidence to do this. I don't. What is she doing? Dominique, what part of Alliance do you not understand? Dominique, if you sit at Nettie's table, she will be safe and Lisa Marie will be going home. I'm sorry, Lisa Marie, but I really don't believe that you feel like you A, deserve it, or B, want it bad enough like the rest of us. I really do believe at this point that Dominique is gonna vote for Nettie. I have been putting my best efforts into these challenges. Hey, that's all I can do. The person that I chose to stay is because I believe in them even though I know they don't. I voted for Lisa Marie because the best thing I can really do is just stick close to the people I trust and hopefully that'll get me through the finish line. Well, ladies, with two brides at Nettie's table and two brides at Lisa Marie's table, we have a tie. Janessa, as our top bride, you are the tiebreaker. Daddy, I think that you have made so many friendships here. You're definitely a great person. I'm glad I got to see that. But the person I'm going to choose tonight is just someone that has been there for me from day one. Janessa loves knowing that she has the power to send somebody home based off of how she feels. I'm so frustrated. I'm actually pissed. Nettie, your time here at Bridal Plasty and your quest to be the perfect bride is over. Your wedding will still go on. It just won't be perfect. Yes, it will. Of course, I'm upset that I don't get to continue. I like fighting for what I want. It's unfortunate that I lost to Lisa Marie. I feel like, hands down, I could have lost to anybody else in that house with pride. But to Lisa Marie, it's a little upsetting. Janessa's a smart girl. She knows what she's doing, and she's known what she's doing since day one. Janessa better watch her back, because if Janessa's in the bottom anytime soon, her ass is gone. Well, ladies, another emotional RSVP ceremony, but I do have to say congratulations because you all are one step closer to becoming the perfect bride and having your dream wedding. There are only six brides left now and I feel more unstoppable than ever. And I'm not going to give up until all of them are gone and I win my dream wedding. Next time on Bridal Plasty. I'm so excited about my nose. I do feel one step closer to being the perfect bride. Why don't we bring in one of our special guests? This oh is gosh. Kristen's future mother-in-law, Lisa Marie's future mother-in-law, <gasps> Cheyenne's future mother-in-law. <laughs> I didn't know if this was a dream or a nightmare. So today, I am sending you all to the Venice Beach Boardwalk for your next challenge. Come on, come on, come on. Where is she? Where'd she go? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We just need a six-person pyramid. Do, do. <laughs> I'm getting really annoyed with Lisa Marie following me around being down. Pick yourself up already. There's only six girls left, and it's going to start to get crazy. I'm done. I'm out. Mm. I got to change my strategy now. I'm so broken hearted over this. I never said that I was voting for her. It's like a freaking cockroach. I just won't die. I don't care what you're voting for. I just think it's a really big to do. It's not supposed to get emotionally involved.